Hey guys, Ivan here and in this video we got some really interesting physique updates and we are starting as you can see with a Patrick Moore physique update so he posted the most recent one and he is apparently prepping for 2024 now why am I even talking about this guy at this point it's because he is still somewhat popular he was kind of a breakthrough star of 2019 where he placed 10th at the Mr. Olympia and he actually looked amazing at that show like he was really really conditioned that was only one time he was really conditioned that one time and never again and so with his structure with his shape and proportions when he's in condition he does look like something special he was definitely on the smaller side and we thought this guy is the future he is the next Ronnie Coleman or something like that, like if he grows some more muscle with his shape, with his conditioning, he's gonna be the next big thing. But no, it never happened. Patrick Tour was not the future, I would rather say that he is the past. Unfortunately, he never grew that muscle that he needed to, nor did he ever repeat the 2019 conditioning. This is him from last year's Arnold Classic where he placed dead last 10 days ago he posted this photo and he basically announced that he is going to be competing in 2024 as well uh, he also said it he's coached by a new coach uh, dom cardone he posted this photo from back in 2019 where he was in shape for once the only time and in all of his posts basically this one is from like a week ago he always you know writes caption like he is still a big deal like he's still coming uh, to 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 conquer all these shows like he's still the future the neuronic Coleman uh, here he says a real ratio is just a matter of time you know just a matter of time and it's been a matter of time for the past five years yet nothing happened all of his posts everything he's right is kind of angry he's always trying to prove something but his actions are not really matching his words on the stage in the last five years he only brought it once at that year's Mr. Olympia and of course the show where he qualified for that Mr. Olympia and that was it. He's still very popular and that's why I'm talking about him but this is my honest opinion and this once again is what he looks like right now and I can't say that he looks bad. Once again he has a beautiful structure, really phenomenal shape and all he needs to do really is to grow, to get bigger and then bring the conditioning that he already brought once before is he gonna do that this year honestly at this point i lost my hope i don't think so but you guys can tell me in the comment section down below what do you think about patrick moore what do you think about what he looks like right now and do you think he's gonna qualify for this year's mr olympia can he win a pro show can he still do it i believe it's possible i think he can but will he I don't know, I haven't seen him bring that same condition that he brought that one year, I don't know if he can repeat it, maybe that was a one-off and it will never happen again, I think that's most likely gonna be the case, but who knows, maybe he proves me wrong, we'll see. Alright, next up we got something really interesting, uh, we got this guy right here, and you're probably wondering who the hell this guy even is, he seems familiar, but you probably don't know where you know him from let me refresh your memory how about now yep that's this guy right here in the corner of the Arnold classic poster rebecca bosse is i guess how you pronounce his name he won the Arnold classic amateur last year and he was invited to do the Arnold classic 2024 and he did not deny the invite he actually accepted it he decided to compete in the open division of the Arnold classic to clash against the top open pros and recently he posted a physique update at three weeks out of Arnold Classic and RX Muscle shared these photos and the comments were brutal towards this guy I didn't like what I saw, I'm not gonna show it here people were saying like his conditioning is off, he won't be ready and also that he is not big enough, that he is just not on that level that he shouldn't have accepted, that he is just not ready for this level of a competition yet and I wouldn't put it in those words exactly but I wouldn't say necessarily that I disagree because this guy is definitely much much smaller than anybody else doing the Arnold Classic and also you can see a pretty bad case of gyno I don't know how much will that hurt him because 
I don't think it really matters. At this point, I'm being brutally honest. I'm sorry, but if I'm being honest, I have to say that like with this size, it doesn't matter how conditioned he is, whether he has a gyno or not, how good his symmetry is or his proportions or shape, whatever. He just doesn't have enough size for the big boys. And let's be real, that's the case. In some shots, he looks better than others. I think his side chest is probably his best pose, but still, you can see it from every angle. He definitely has a lot of missing body parts. Against the big guys, he really has no chance. However, however, I applaud him, actually, for deciding to do this, for having the guts to go against these guys and stand next to them, for taking, for using this opportunity. So here in the comment section, you can see a comment from his coach, I believe. It's a lengthy comment, you can read the whole thing if you pause the video, but basically what he says is, they didn't even know that he's gonna get that thin white before it was 11 weeks out. And at that point, he was already deep into his off season. He decided to prep for 2025 and for 212. So he's probably not even 212 pounds. He's probably way below that weight cap. So he decided to prep for the 212 to actually grow for the 212. And when they got this in, why they decided to use this opportunity to actually stand against the some of the biggest bodybuilding stars in the world right now. And I think this could be very beneficial for him, for his career, for his name, to be out there, to be next to those guys, even though he can't stand next to them. I mean, pick the smallest guy in that lineup. Who would that be? I mean, maybe Anton Weant. His upper body is kind of flatter, but still, the guy is 270. Mohamed Shaban. No, that guy is huge. Rafael Brandau. I mean, he also grew a lot. John De La Rosa. I mean, Horse MD. All of these guys. Everybody. Akim Williams. James Hollingshead. Justin Rodriguez. All of these guys are freaking massive. Like, they are all mass monsters. And they're gonna dwarf this guy. They're gonna kill him with the size. But he will be in many of those photos. And if he actually does well in the 212, after he does a good off-season and grows some more tissue, then maybe we'll remember him. And I'm making a video about him, and I'm sure others will as well. So his name is out there. And once again, I appreciate the courage. He decided to stop his off-season to try and do this show because he has one opportunity. Maybe he will never get a new opportunity to stand next to Hari Chopin and Samson Daur and all these guys. So I think this is definitely very, very awesome. Even though I think he has no chance, I think it's a great move that he did this. And eventually, once he grows enough for 212, once he does the 212, he will be more recognizable than he would if he did nothing, if he didn't do this show. So props to him for that what do you guys think about his physique is there potential for the 212 in the future don't tell me what you think about how he's gonna do it the Arnold classic we all know that tell me what you think about his potential in the 212 in a couple of years all right next physique update is from Hari Chopin at two weeks out of Arnold classic and he's showing us his legs his quads and we can kind of get the idea of what kind of conditioning Hari is bringing and I don't think anybody is surprised that Hadi is bringing some serious conditioning. His legs are looking really awesome, really impressive. But what I'm wondering is how much will the asymmetry hurt him against Samson Dauda? Which is something Tyler Mannion pointed to when he did his Mr. Olympia analysis. Something that I never saw before, but now I can't even stop thinking about it when I'm looking at his legs. Left leg is definitely much bigger than the right one. I don't think anybody talked about that before Tyler mentioned it, but it is clear. It was always like that. And when you pay attention to it, you can see that the difference is rather large. And you guys know that Samson is very, very symmetrical, very proportionate. So maybe this will be... Well, should I use the word excuse for Samson beating him? Do the judges actually want Samson to beat him? Well, if there are politics, if the judges and the IBB want like somebody who speaks English well, who is a good promoter for the sport, to win these shows like Mr. Olympia, like Arnold Classic, then they will find, they will dig, they will find anything they can on Hadi to discredit him. And this is one of those things. This can be a reason enough 
for why Hadi could lose against Samson. Now, I'm not saying that there are actually politics. I'm only saying if there are, this could be something. And if there aren't, then still this will affect the judging. And the judges know that. They will pay attention to it, especially now, after Tyler said it. But I'm sure they already knew this for a long time. Only the fans weren't really talking too much about it. But now when we know that his legs are not perfectly symmetrical, I wonder how much will it hurt him. Samson definitely doesn't have that problem, especially in the legs. His legs are basically perfectly shaped, perfectly symmetrical. His waist is also smaller than Hadi's. And if he brings a close level of conditioning to Hadi's, the chances of Samson actually winning this are not small. They're actually pretty decent. So we'll see. It's definitely going to be very, very interesting. It's starting to get more interesting with each day now. We are two weeks out. Stay tuned, guys, because there's going to be a whole bunch of content about Arnold Classic before the show, during the show, after the show. So, guys, once again, please subscribe. Stay tuned. Now, let's proceed to a physique update of Good Vito. So, he posted his side chest shot. And it's looking really freaking insane. It's looking ridiculous. Like, the, the size of those freaking arms and the legs, the hamstring sweep, the quad pop, the biceps, the chest. Everything is just looking insane. His conditioning is pretty good for this point in prep. And in the caption, he says something very interesting. Arnold Classic Brazil plus two championships, plus two shows. So he's going to be doing more shows. It's not going to be only Arnold Brazil. So which show he's going to do? Well, he has no issue entering the US. He has an issue entering the Euro, but US, no. And which show is after Arnold Classic Brazil? Well, it is the New York Pro. And Nick Walker is doing it. This is the perfect opportunity for Good Vito to get some exposure. If he, you know, as like the, the, the freakiest guy in today's bodybuilding, who never stepped on a pro stage, if he stands next to Nick Walker at the New York Pro, guys, that would be crazy. That would be amazing. That would draw so much attention. Everybody would be watching that show. Everybody would be curious to see how these guys compare, how good Gudovito actually is standing next to Nick Walker, another freak. And it seems like it's possible that this is actually going to happen. So this is really exciting. I'm really curious to hear which exact shows Good Vito is going to do. But I feel like it's going to be New York Pro. It makes so much sense. What do you guys think? Well, whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video though, like it. And once again, if you want to see more, if you want to stay tuned, please click the subscribe button. Thank you so much guys for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye bye.